we're exploring another incredible set of tools reshaping the tech landscape. From building resilient AI agents and private AI-powered email, to accelerating container builds and revolutionizing 3D design in your browser, these projects offer cutting-edge solutions. Get ready to discover how brilliant minds are pushing boundaries in areas like large language models, data engineering, and mathematical animation. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Pickaxe, a scalable, fault-tolerant TypeScript AI agent library. Imagine building AI agents as simple TypeScript functions, but with built-in resilience, scaling, and durability baked in. That's exactly the power of Pickaxe. What makes this library unique is how it turns ordinary functions into production-grade agents capable of handling failures, scheduling tasks, and recovering from interruptions, all without changing your business logic. In Pickaxe, every agent and tool is just a function you define. No rigid frameworks, just comfort and familiarity. You wrap these functions, provide Zod schemas for input and output, and Pickaxe transforms them into durable agents that can wait for events, checkpoint progress, and retry from where they left off. Imagine a task waiting on a human review or an external system call. Pickaxe's durable event model, powered by Hatchet, ensures it can pause and resume safely without memory leaks or lost context. Scalability is another core strength. Designed to run across fleets of containers, Pickaxe distributes your agents reliably via task queues. So even at massive scale with hundreds of thousands of tasks per execution, failure doesn't break your system. If a machine goes down, Pickaxe reschedules work seamlessly on another node. Configurability is also a highlight. You get fine-grained control over retries, concurrency, rate limits, timeouts, cron schedules, and event listeners, all via simple, expressive options. And because Pickaxe is infrastructure opinionated but code agnostic, you're free to build your LLM pipelines, memory layers, or integrations exactly how you like. In short, Pickaxe uniquely blends simplicity with production power, giving developers a code-first way to build AI agents that are durable, distributed, and scalable without boilerplate or framework lock-in. Project number two, zero, AI native privacy-first email platform. Picture an email client designed not just to send and receive messages, but to intelligently organize, summarize, and manage your inbox, all while keeping your data private and fully under your control. That's precisely what Xero brings to the table. It's a self-hosted open source alternative to Gmail that puts AI-powered agents at the heart of your email experience. With Xero, you don't just read an email, you understand it faster, respond quicker, and maintain a cleaner inbox automatically. What truly sets Xero apart is its autonomous AI workflow integration into every aspect of the app. Need an email categorized, summarized, or drafted? AI agents built on LLMs like OpenAI percolate through your messages and perform these tasks seamlessly. It's not a simple add-on bot. It's a deeply embedded AI assistant that improves efficiency and decision-making. Privacy is clearly non-negotiable for Xero. It's open source under an MIT license, supports self-hosting via Docker or Bun environments, and enforces a strict your data, your rules policy. No tracking, no data mining, no hidden agendas. And if you still want convenience, it offers unified inbox support, bringing Gmail, Outlook, and other accounts under one roof securely and privately. Beyond that, Xero offers a polished, customizable UI built with Next, JS, TypeScript, and Tailwind CSS, along with secure authentication through BetterAuth and OAuth for providers like Google. It's developer-friendly too, using Drizzle ORM and Posocrats in a modern stack with an extensible structure ready for plugins and integrations, making it easy to tailor the experience. In short, Xero reimagines email for the AI era, a privacy-first, self-hosted platform where intelligent agents streamline every step of your workflow. It promises smarter, safer, and more personalized email without compromise. Project number three, Manim Cis Programmatic Mathematical Animation Engine. Imagine turning code into captivating visual stories about math, physics, or data, and doing it all with Python. That's the magic of Manim Community, a powerful animation engine originally created by Grant Sanderson of 3 Blue 1 Brown fame, and now modernized, maintained, and enriched by the community. What makes Manim C unique is its ability to generate precise, code-driven animations. Rather than dragging visuals, you write Python scripts that specify exactly how each shape, formula, or graph behaves, down to the tiniest motion or transformation. What truly sets Manim C apart is its focus on educational clarity and reproducibility. Educators, creators, and researchers can craft animations that visually explain complex concepts, whether it's a circle morphing into a square, a dot fixed relative to a moving object, or a beautifully plotted vector field. These scenes are not only precise, but also scriptable, editable, and reusable, 
perfect for consistent teaching materials, academic presentations, and even interactive notebooks. Another standout is its active, friendly community. Manamsi was forked and overhauled to be more stable, documented, and contributor-ready than the original. Now it includes robust features like automated voiceovers, Jupyter Notebook support, Docker images, and enhanced documentation. The project is continuously evolving, with recent updates addressing rendering performance, color palette flexibility, and API polishing, making it accessible to both newcomers and advanced users. Plus, the example gallery and community-driven awesome lists showcase the versatility of ManMC, from detailed geometry constructions to advanced data visualizations. Creators are pushing its limits. In short, Manum Community transforms Python code into precise, expressive animations, empowering anyone to animate ideas with clarity, control, and community-built power. Project number four, BuildKit. Faster, smarter, next-gen container builds. Imagine speeding up your Docker builds while slashing wasted storage and gaining powerful flexibility that's what BuildKit delivers. As the modern build engine behind Docker Engine 23 Plus and Docker Desktop, BuildKit brings a unique blend of parallel execution, smart caching, and extensible architecture designed for today's large-scale development workflows. Unlike the legacy builder, it builds a graph of dependent build steps and runs independent tasks concurrently, so multi-stage Docker files execute faster and more efficiently. What makes BuildKit truly stand out is its precise content-based caching powered by its low-level build LLB format. Instead of relying on fragile heuristics, it tracks exact checksums of build steps and file changes, avoiding unnecessary re-execution. Plus, you can export and import cache from registries or local stores, ideal for CI pipelines that need to warm caches across machines. But speed isn't its only advantage. BuildKit introduces advanced Docker file syntax, letting devs securely mount secrets or SSH agents at build time using run mount type secret without leaking sensitive data. Its pluggable front ends allow alternative build formats beyond Docker files, opening doors for custom workflows and integrations. And it works without root. Rootless builds and daemonless modes mean safer, more secure environments. No privileged containers needed. BuildKit also supports distributed and remote builds, letting multiple workers across machines contribute to a build, ideal for scalable CI-CD setup. Its configurable options, like registry mirrors, resource limits, and CNI networking, make it a robust choice for complex production-grade pipelines. In short, BuildKit transforms container building from a slow serial process into a fast, efficient, secure, and extensible experience, the engine that modern developers need to build smarter. Project number five, John Ein Wool your local AI assistant. 100% offline chat GPT alternative. Imagine having an AI chat assistant like ChatGPT, but one that runs entirely on your own computer with no dependence on the cloud. That's exactly what John makes possible. What really makes this tool unique is its ability to let anyone download popular open source language models like Llama, Gemma, Quen, and more from Hugging Face and run them locally with a clean, user-friendly interface. This is a game changer for privacy conscious users and developers who want full control over their data and model behavior. But John doesn't stop at local models. It also seamlessly integrates cloud providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, Mistral, and Groke. So whether you're working offline or want to scale up, John adapts without missing a beat. It even offers an OpenAI compatible local API server on localhost 1337, making it a perfect drop-in replacement for apps already built around OpenAI's infrastructure. What really stands out is John's support for the model context protocol, MCP, enabling agents and tool workflows directly on your device. The app supports custom assistance, extensions built with Tari, and a flexible plugin-friendly architecture, so you can tailor it to your exact needs. John's modular design, combining a slick Electron front-end with a powerful Cortex.CP back-end, makes it both accessible and performant, even on modest hardware. With over 32K stars and active development v0.6.1 dropped June 19, 2025, it's clear John strikes a chord with developers looking for privacy-first, self-hosted AI solutions. In summary, John is unique because it delivers chat GPT-like experiences offline, supports both local and cloud LLMs, plugs right into existing workflows, and puts control directly in the user's hands, all without compromising usability. Project number six, Tensor Zero, industrial-grade LLM operating system. Imagine building powerful AI applications that get smarter over time without reinventing the wheel. Tensor Zero does exactly that by providing an open source, production-ready stack designed for large language model LLM systems. What makes Tensor Zero truly unique is its comprehensive LLM ops flywheel, a seamless loop of inference, observability, optimization, evaluation, and experimentation. 
First off, it offers a unified LLM gateway built in Rust, one API to access any major model provider, whether OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, or self-hosted models, with sub-1 MELUS P99 latency and built-in support for batching, caching, streaming, model fallbacks, and retries, you can integrate at scale without compromising performance. Next comes observability. Every inference and user feedback is logged to your database, like ClickHouse, accessible in real time or via UI dashboards. This data becomes the foundation for automatic optimization. Tensor Zero uses this feedback to fine-tune prompts, switch models, or adapt inference strategies using pre-built recipes, that's intelligence by design. The platform also supports evaluations and experimentation, letting you A-B test alternatives, benchmark model outputs, and validate end-to-end -end workflows. With GitOps orchestration, you can deploy confidently and iterate fast. Finally, it's fully self-hosted and open source with no hidden tiers, ideal for enterprises prioritizing governance, security, and extensibility. Whether you need to build a chatbot, document summarizer, or structured data extractor, Tensor Zero gives you the whole stack in one cohesive package, in short, Tensor Zero isn't just another framework for LLMs. It's an intelligent operating system that learns from your data, streamlines development, and elevates your AI applications to industrial grade. Project number seven, Deep EP, Expert Parallel Communication for MOE Models. Imagine you're building massive AI models that route each input through multiple experts, specialized neural subnetworks, and you need lightning fast, efficient communication between GPUs. That's where DPP shines. Unlike general-purpose data transfer libraries, DPP is purpose-built for mixture of experts, MOE, and expert parallelism, delivering high-throughput, low-latency GPU all-to-all -all communication that's critical when dispatching tokens across experts. What sets DPP apart is its optimized GPU kernels tailored for MOE tasks. It supports low-precision data types like FP8, maximizing speed without compromising accuracy. DPP aligns with the group-limited gating approach from the DeepSeq v3 model by offering asymmetric domain bandwidth forwarding. This means it smartly manages data transfer across different GPU domains like NVLink or RDMA, boosting performance during both training and inference. But it doesn't stop there. For real-time inference, DPP includes pure RDMA kernels to keep latency minimal, ensuring fast responses. It also features a hook-based method to overlap communication and computation, so your GPUs stay busy and efficient without waiting on data moves. In simpler terms, if you're building cutting-edge MOE models like the DeepSeq v3 architecture, DPP gives you a robust, high-performance foundation. It abstracts away the hard parts of parallel communication, like kernel tuning, domain-aware transfer, and latency reduction, letting you focus on model design rather than performance engineering. In summary, DPP is not just another library, it's a specialized, high-efficiency communication engine optimized for expert parallel AI models. If you want your MOE projects to run fast and scale well across GPU clusters, DPP is the secret weapon, letting you concentrate on innovation, not integration. Project number eight, VGGT, Visual Geometry Grounded Transformer. Imagine an AI model that sees a scene from one or even hundreds of photos and instantly reconstructs its 3D geometry, camera positions, depth maps, point clouds, and object tracks. That's the magic of VGGT, a transformer designed to infer full 3D structure from images in under a second, no iterative optimization needed. What makes VGGT unique is its feed-forward transformer architecture that simultaneously handles multiple 3D tasks, camera intrinsics, extrinsics, depth estimation, point map generation, and tracking unified in one fast pass. Unlike traditional methods that focus on one aspect like depth or pose, VGGT excels at all and it does so with remarkable speed and accuracy. It feeds patchified image tokens through alternating local and global transformer layers and then branches out into specialized heads for each 3D attribute. This design delivers state-of-the-art results without the complication or delay of post-processing steps. What pushed this project into the spotlight is its recognition. VGGT was awarded Best Paper at CVPR 2025, a major endorsement of its cutting-edge impact. The code base includes live demos, Gradio, call map export, and 3D visualization tools, letting developers directly experiment with real-world 3D reconstruction. Another standout is VGGT's versatility. It works with just one photo for zero-shot single-view reconstruction, performs multi-view reconstruction with dozens of images, and supports exporting into call map or Gaussian splatting formats for seamless integration into 3D pipelines. In short, VGGT is groundbreaking because it transforms complex multi-step 3D scene reconstruction into a single unified transformer that's fast, accurate, and open source. It's not just another depth model, it's a full-stack 3D vision powerhouse that's ready for real-world use.
Project number 9, Chili 3D, full-featured 3D CAD in your browser. Imagine using a powerful CAD tool without installing bulky software. Chili 3D makes that dream real. Built with TypeScript, 3.js, and OpenCascade compiled to WebAssembly, it brings native-like performance straight to your browser. What makes it stand out is its full suite of professional modeling features, creating boxes, cylinders, and detailed 2D sketches, all the way to Boolean operations, fillets, extrusions, lofts, and more. What sets Chili 3D apart is the seamless integration. By running completely client-side, it offers industry-grade tools, snapping, tracking, precise measurements, and object transformations, and a smooth undo redo workflow. You can import and export standard formats like STEP, IGAS, and BRUP, so your browser-made designs are ready for real-world engineering or manufacturing. Another unique strength is its sleek office-style interface, feature visibility, and multi-language support, English and Chinese, with more on the way. The project recently hit a milestone release, D0.1.0, solidifying its core capabilities like local-first document handling, robust history tracking, and modular UI. Chili 3D also thrives on community momentum, 3.2K stars, frequent updates, GitHub discussions, and even CI workflows deploying it live. It's a full CAD platform in the browser, fast open source AGPL 3.0, and ideal for students, hobbyists, or professionals wanting instant access, no installs, no delays. In short, Chili 3D isn't just a demo, it's a polished, extensible browser-based CAD tool, rivaling desktop software. It empowers anyone to model, edit, and export complex designs straight from their browser. Project number 10, Data Engineer Handbook, the ultimate learning and resource directory. Imagine a single, well-organized repository that guides you through everything you need to become a top-tier data engineer. That's exactly what the Data Engineer Handbook offers. What makes this tool truly unique is its comprehensive scope and community-driven depth. With over 32,000 stars and thousands of contributors, this repo isn't just a static guide, it's a living ecosystem constantly updated by data experts worldwide. The handbook stands out because it doesn't just list technologies, it curates structured learning paths. You'll find dedicated sections for books, online communities, newsletters, and even interview prep materials. For example, top-tier books like Designing Data-Intensive Applications sit beside ready-to-use ACUL interview guides, making it ideal for learners at any level. But what really makes it shine is the hands-on project section and a free six-week YouTube bootcamp launched in November 2023. The repo links to practical assignments, modeling, pipelines, streaming, and testing that mirror real-world tasks, and community feedback confirms its effectiveness. Reddit users say it's a massive resource and a great complement to boot camps like ZoomCamp. Enterprise grade, absolutely. The repo includes tools and companies used in professional settings from Airflow and Spark to Snowflake, Databricks, and Kafka, helping learners understand not just how, but why these tools matter. In short, the Data Engineer Handbook isn't just a reference, it's a one-stop builder's toolkit combining structured learning, practical exercises, and community insight. For anyone serious about launching a career in data engineering or leveling up their skills, it's an open source treasure chest you'll return to again and again. And that concludes our deep dive into these remarkable open source projects. We explored Pickaxe, a scalable and fault-tolerant TypeScript library for building production-grade AI agents that seamlessly handle failures and scheduling. Then we looked at Xero, an AI-native, privacy-first, self-hosted email platform that intelligently organizes and manages your inbox with autonomous AI workflows and many more. These projects truly showcase the power and innovation within the open source community. If you enjoyed this journey, please like this video, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive.